Seches Kiddushin, Arindaf Heyomun Beis, guys, in the middle of the wide lines, Heyomun Beis? Yes, I think so. Omar Shmuel, continuing the war. Good morning, Shlomo. We're continuing the fight. Omar Shmuel, yeah, we're talking about Kiddushin, and I didn't say Kiddushin is a fight. Two different things. We're fighting the Gaza war, and besides that, there's also the issue of Kiddushin. Omar Shmuel, the Kiddushin, how does Kiddushin work? Well, how should a person be Mikadish's wife? Yeah, he wants to be Mikadish a girl to be his wife. So what does he do? Listen, watch and listen. Nosan lo kesef v'shve kesef. He either gives her money or something that is worth money, such as uh, the accepted ring. The Omer lo, and he tells her, haret mikudeshes. Ah, which word are we missing? Li. Right? Very good, Li. He says, haret mikudeshes, and he didn't say Li. Are at Maureses, now Maureses and Mekudeshes is the same. You have to realize Maureses today means engaged, but the real Maureses, which we're going to see, and we saw Maureses in the terms, and it's important to know, especially for today's year, Maureses of the Gemara is not engaged. There's no, I mean, maybe there was engaged. Engaged is not here in this stuff at all, yeah? Maureses means Mekudeshes, Ashes Ish. A girl who's engaged, yeah? Is she an Ashes Ish? No. No. Not the engaged of today. When your daughter got engaged, before she got married, yeah, before there was a chasana in the grow, she was not an ishesis, she didn't cover her hair, she was engaged, which in modern Hebrew is moreses, but the moreses of the Torah and moreses of the Gemara means ishesish, means mekudeshes. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why Chabad, our fellow Chabad, they don't write moreses, they say bau bekitshar shiduchim. That's why. When they, absolutely, Chabad, at least in Israel, I don't know about America, Chabad in Israel, when they, they have the engagement uh, uh, um, announcement, they don't say they're Morosim, they write Bo Bekishrei Hashiduchim. That's what the Rebbe told them to do. Because to say Morosim is a misnomer, it's a mistake, because Morosim means real Shatish. And it's not. She's only engaged, yeah, which means uh, she's buying a million dollar things and she's uh, booking a hall and a dress. But it doesn't mean that she's an Eshesish. In the times of Gmar, Moreses means Bukodesh is full Eshesish. To say they're cruel and clear enough, Kamina, but they're showing him. The engaged of today, if she goes and has relations with another guy, that's really, really bad. But she's not Chayv Misa. No, she's not an Eshesish. A Moreses of the Torah, even though she's not yet fully married, but she's an Eshesish. Although there's no Nisuin, she's Chayv Misa. Absolutely. Now a Moreses, a Moreses. A Moreses. Vot is not Mikodeshes. We're not going now into the importance of Vot and the Tnoim. That's a different story. Maybe they're not allowed to break it. It's a promise. It's a vow. That's not, she's not an Ishish. She's not an Ishish. Biter. Are at le into, without saying Li. We erase the word Li in the round brackets. You are le into. You are my wife. Not my. You are a wife. But now he doesn't say me. He took himself out of the picture. He wants to show this not selfish. I'm joking. Arezu Mekudeshes, she's a Mekudeshes, even though he didn't say to me, she's still Mekudeshes. Next, next uh, a statement. Areini Ishech, instead of saying you are my wife, says I'm your husband, I'm your man. Areini Bailich, I'm your husband. Areini Aruses, Arusech, I'm your Arus, yeah? Ain can base Mechush, because he's starting from his perspective saying I'm becoming yours, yeah? I am yours, says the husband, that's wrong. Enkan Beis Mechush means it's not even the beginning of Kiddushin, it's not even a Sofek Kiddushin, because it says, Ki Yikach Ish Isha, and not Ki Tilokach, as we'll see later, and not Ki Yikach Es Atzmoy to her, but he's taking her. He's not being taken to her, and if he says, I'm taken to you, therefore it's nothing, the whole essence of Kiddushin is wrong here, there is no Kiddushin, and there's not even a Chshash, she doesn't even have to get a chashash. Usually, Sofik Eshetish is a big Sofik, right? We saw yesterday. It's nothing. It's against the whole essence of it. Okay. The Chen Begerushin. Oh, Begerushin, you may be surprised, but Gerushin, besides giving her the get, he also has to say, This is a get. This is a get for you. There is a big question. What? Yes. Oh, so you're joking, but yeah, there is a question. Does the woman have to know that she's divorced or not? That's what Shailen showing him in Halacha. A woman doesn't have to agree, Mikar Odin. Today she does. Mikar Odin of the Gemara, a woman doesn't have to agree to the divorce. There's a question if she has to know about the divorce. Yeah? The Ramo says she does. Let's say a man tells her, this is a document, it's a shtar He wants to trick her. He put the get in her hand, and he says, uh, 
that's uh, that's a shopping list. Uh, whenever you go to your next shopping list, and she's very happy. Only I don't know two days later, she opens it. She sold it to her friend the rabbi, and what? She's magoresha. She's magoresha. They're the shaila if she's magoresha or not. Yeah. But in Gerushin, what we say over here is as follows: No son law. He gave a woman a get. The Omar lo haret mishulachas haret magoreshes haret muteres lechol odom. You're sent away. You're divorced. You are allowed lechol odom. You're not permitted to be with any man, and he said it. Lechatchila, clearly the person should say, when he gives the get, he should tell the wife, and soon you're going to see why he has to tell her. He has to tell her that you're divorced. Areza Mugoreshes, she's divorced. However, if in the Gerushin, he told her, when he gave her the get, he told her the wrong Loshoin, and he said, Eini Ishech, Eini Balech, Eini Yarusech, I am now not your husband anymore, in two different synonyms. I'm not your Orus. Yeah, let's say we're not fully married yet. We're Orus Varusa. And conveys Mechush. If in the case of divorce, he is removing himself, instead of sending her, he's sending him himself away, that's not a get. Even though he gave it a get. Because this is against the essence of Gershin. Gershin means that the power is in his hand, and he gives her the get, and not the other way around. Now we're going to... Do, that was just the beginning. That was just Shmuel's, you know, uh, structure. Now of Papa is addressing Abaye, talking about the first series of sentences. What was missing in the first part of the of the Memra? That was the person didn't say Li. Arat Mukudeshes, he stood there with a the ring and he said Arat Mukudeshes. He didn't say to me. Papa is now commenting to Abaye. Le Memra, that is to say, I can figure out from this statement of Shmuel. The Sava Shmuel, the Shmuel thinks, Yadaim She'en Moichichois Havian Yadaim. This is not Chinese, I'm going to explain it to you, unless you learned Nedorim and Nozir. Yadaim. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. How is that called in Hebrew? Yadit, right? Yadit, Yad. Oh, this is not the jug, but it's holding the jug. So with one little plastic piece, which is not even a receptacle, I'm holding a lot of nice water that the Tzaddik prepared for me. So this is called the Yad. So let's say a person is making half a statement, yeah, which we can figure out from that beginning of statement what he's about to say. Yeah, let's say I say uh, good more. Uh, you figure out I'm probably going to say good morning, even though I didn't say it, I'm not going to say good mortgage. I'm going to say good morning, right? Yeah, in other words, you're saying half a sentence, and that's a Yad, right? Sam Yadayim are moichichois. Some Yadaim, half sentences, can be clearly interpreted, and we know halachically what the person for sure is going to say. And some Yadaim, some half sentences, are sentences, halachic sentences, such as Kiddushin, Nedorim, Nozir. A person makes half a statement, and we are almost sure what he means, but not 100%. For example, over, I'm reading again, Lememra. The Sava Shmuel, if Shmuel believes that Arat Mikudeshes, without saying to me, is good enough, and you can miss the to me. Yadaim she'en mochichos haven yadaim. You see that yadaim, a, a, an unfinished sentence, which doesn't hundred percent prove what the person means, is called a good yadaim. Is called a good halachic statement. When a person says right mikudeshes and he gave a ring, most of us would say, of course he meant for himself. I would differ and would say 90 percent he means mikudeshesly. Maybe he's a shliach. Maybe it's a shlich for somebody else. And by the way, you should really now get out of your mindset. When you imagine yourself the chosan staying at Mekodesh Asli with a ring, what's the what, what's happening around them? Photographer, Adim, Shviger crying, candles, a lot of people there, smartphones, right? That's what you imagine. But let's say a, a, gla a glass, last time you can put his foot down. But what's the... Yeah, but imagine yourself, a guy goes to the girl in the middle of the street. He says to his friend, you know, in the middle of Rehov Yafo, she's a nice girl. She looks very nice girl. They're Shamaim also. And he says to her, Atmukodeshesli, Atmukodeshes with no uh, preparation. That could also be. We're going to discuss that later. Yeah, he's wearing his jeans and T-shirt. She wears her skirt and uh, T-shirt. That's a new upsetter. Just like that, yeah. So maybe that also works. And then the context is not so clear. Maybe says Rat Mikudeshes, he means he means to the friend, which uh, we just met in a bar. I don't know. Maybe Rat Mikudeshes is stating her status. It's not, it's not million percent, it's not hundred percent that he means to me, right? Rat Mikudeshes Lee. And yet Shmuel says that it's enough. And that's okay. Why? 
Because all of you would say, oh, you're dying. Ain't mochichos, it's not a percent, but it's kind of almost obvious that he means to say to me, oh, that's good enough, let's not be nitpicking. Okay, I could hear that, but we have a problem with that. It's logical, but there's an issue, because Shmuel is contradicting himself. It's okay with us, but not with Shmuel himself. That none. It says in the very, very first Mishnah of Maseches Nozir, Ha'oymer ehe, hareze Nozir, the Mishnah says over there, when a person says, I will become, not I will be, I will become, I will become, become what? President of the U.S.? I can't, yeah? I will become what? Hareze Nozir. We right away assume that the person means Nazir. He's a Nozir. We have a question there in old base. We assume that I will be or I will become probably means a halachic statement. Not I will become a lawyer, doctor, professor. I will become something halachic. I don't know why. I've seen a little bit of Roshonim, but not enough. The assumption is that it's a halachic statement he's making. The Gemara is asking, even if it's halachic, who says I will be a nazir? Maybe I will be betainis. I will be fasting. Yeah. How do you know that I will be automatically finishes off with a nazir? Nazir? Who's thinking Dafka of Nazir? Why is that the automatic thing? Why is that what you fill in the blank? Nazir could be many halachic things that are not Nazir. I will be, I don't know, a big Rav. Oh, but, but we don't see the context there. Kaomar, Omar Shmuel, thank you, good. Omar Shmuel, the Hu Shoyo Nazir Oiver Lefonov. We only say, I will be. And we finish off the sentence with Nazir, not in any ambiguous case, only if there's a Nazir who just then crossed and passed near him. They saw a Nazir, him and his friend are talking, they see a guy with long hair, yeah, staying away, Daladam is away from the wine store, from the bar, clearly a Nazir, and the person says, I will be, I will be. That is very, very clear that what? That he means I will be like that. Taima, the Nazir over Lefanov. Only if the Nazir is right there and then crossing, right, passing right in front of him, and he says, I will be, then we say, I'll be that. That's, that's already 99.9. Only then we say, we fill in the blank space to say that this is Yadayim Moichichos. That's called Yadayim Moichichos. Yadayim Moichichos means that it's not Eino Moichichos. It's very, very likely they finish the sentence with the word Nozir, because the Nozir is right there. And as you saw him, you said this, I will be. Halavachi loy. But anything less than that, if there's still a little bit more room for ambiguity, then loy. Then we don't say, we don't finish the sentence automatically, yeah, the way we think. In other words, Ratnu Kudeshes, no, people can be shlichim for Kiddushin, yeah? People can be doing other things. It's not million percent that it's for him. And yet what? And yet Shmuel says that it's good enough. Shmuel contradicts himself. One place in other Shmuel required to be 100% full, full proof, 99.9. And here, even 80-90% is good enough. What's going on? Is it or isn't it okay to leave a blank space without being 100% sure? And says, Gmar, Gmar, right away, by the way, there's a contradiction between here and Nazir, but that's another story. Answers, Gmar, Skinan, and Chinami, we have to explain our name of Shmuel differently. The Omar, Li, and Chinami, we must say that according to Shmuel, your version of Shmuel was wrong. Must be that Shmuel did say that only the person who said, Hare At Mukudesh Sli, those four magic words, and then Kedas Moshe of Israel, Hare At Mukudesh Sli, only then she's Mukudeshes, because if he says right Mukudeshes without Lee, then we don't know. We're not sure. Remember Grant, remember Lee. We don't know if he said Lee, didn't say Lee, it's not good enough. <laughs> Came back from America. Arat Mukudeshes, Lee, only then she's Mukudeshes. Fake the Gemara, I knew that when I was five years old. Yehochi, my Kamashmalan, what's a Hiddish? <laughs> Up until now, we had Hidushi, no Lee, who, who? But if he says, Aret Mukudesh Sli, she's his wife, and he gave her a ring. Wow, really? I didn't know that. My Kamashmalan, what's the Kiddush? What are you coming to be Mechadish? Of course. Aret At Mukudesh Sli is the most classic Kalosh in Kiddushin. Says the Ritva, soon you'll know why. That's a lotion you should use. Although there are other alternatives, Mures says that Aret Mukudesh Sli is a prime language. That's what you do, right? So what's the Kiddush? Answers the Gemara, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Ani Lishni Basroi Kamashmalan, Enachinami. The first part of the Memra of Shmuel is, I wouldn't say redundant, is written there as an introduction. By the way, in other words, Aret Mekodesh Sli is good as we all know. The Lishna Basra, when he's becoming a feminist and he says, what I am to you, yeah, I am becoming your husband, 
that is not good, and that is a chiddush. Yeah, he says, I'm becoming your ish. One would say maybe that's also good. Yeah, kamash malan that that is not good. Why not? Even though you have to realize, though, even though he's not saying I'm becoming mikudish to you because there's no such thing. It's not mikudish to her because he's allowed to be with other women to marry more women. But he's saying I'm becoming your ish. It's the same agreement, but starting from a different perspective. I'm becoming yours to be the, the husband, the daddy in the story, the husband. That is also wrong, because the way Kiddushin should be done is the man should take the moon to be his. Yeah, Not that he's taken to her. He should take her. Not that he's taking himself to be hers. The same applies to a get. We saw a lot of comparisons between Gerushin and Kiddushin. When it comes to Gerushin, he should send her, and not that he should send himself from her. Therefore, that is a chidush. That apparently we didn't know, and then we need the this memra to tell me that second statement. Yes, but weiter. at ishti. Now we're starting today's omud. Now we're going to see different alternative alternative lifestyle. No, no, no. Alternative lashonis of kiddushin. Areat ishti. You're my wife. Areat arusosi. We know what that means. Hare at knuyoli. You are acquired to me. Mikudeshes. All these Lashoinas are supposed to be simple language, listen to me, that are understood by all men, women, and Edim. Yeah, to say Mikudesh is Knuya, we assume, although today it may be different, says the Ritvo, not everyone that says right Knuya Li would really hop it or like it. But Lemaise, originally, to say Mikudesh is Ishti Arusasi is something that the girl would understand, and therefore she's Mikudesh, she knows what he's talking about, he knows what he's talking about, and the Edim know what they're talking about. Good. Are at Shali, you are mine. Are at Birshusi, you are under my authority, my domain. Are at Zikukali, what's Zikukali? Like Zika of Yavomo. You're connected to me, Mikudeshes. All those Lashonos are good, simple language understood by all. I wouldn't say that today Zikukali people would understand, they won't. In modern Hebrew, Zikukali means uh, you need me. They're not going to like that. Yeah, are at Zikukali, but if the woman is knowledgeable enough in the times of the Gemara, yeah, and Zkuka, Arusa, Ishti are normal Lashoinois, and therefore, if you use them, Mikudeshes. Now, if you noticed, we grouped them into two groups. It says one, two, three, Mikudeshes, and then Shilibel Shutsi Zkukali, again, Mikudeshes, twice. We divided the Raisa to two, two parts. Why don't you learn all six Lashoinois in one go? Why shouldn't we be Litnu, be Shoina, teach them all in one group, one shot? And so the Gemara, a big yesoid in the Tanoim, how the Tanoim learned, Tano tlas tlas shaminu vegalsinu. The Tano originally learned them from his Tano, from his Rebbe, three at a time. And he was good as he basically revised and revised. And again, he learned another three and he revised. When you want to revise something about Pe, when you learn something about Pe, you learn each Mishnah by itself, right? And then the whole thing. So because Mishnahs were chanted and were revised about Pe again and again, they would keep them, you know, in bite size, you know, Mishnah statements, three, ta -ta -ta -ta, again and again. Ah, he learned a new one, again and again, and, and that's why they divided. Very nice. Iboilu, this is how Mishnah's works. Comes the question. We're going to see, and I'm giving you a small introduction to save you a lot of uh, hard time. We're going to see now a long list of alternative Lashoinois of Kiddushin, alternative expressions of a woman being the man's, belonging to the man. But these Lashoinois, according to Toysfus, and other Rishonim, they have one common denominator. All these Lashonis are basically, we're like uh, scanning through the Torah and the Tanakh, the Torah and the Suvim, all kinds of places in the Tanakh where we see a lotion of marriage of a woman be belonging to a man, all kinds of, you know, verbs that are used in the Torah to describe that, but not every man in the street necessarily understands them. Yeah, you can't a regular girl, even if she finished them with some word, that appears in a Tzfania Aleph Yudah, I don't know. The guy doesn't know it because he doesn't know Tanakh. And even the girl doesn't know it, even though she knows Tanakh, she doesn't connect that what he wants from her life. So here we have a question. Ibailu, meyuchedesli. Yeah, the person tells her, you are meyuchedesli, which means, according to Rashi, not special to me, meyuchedesli, which means you are one with me. You are one with me, which, because the Torah says, v'hoi lobosar echad, they should become one. You should become one with me. Mahu, what's Allah if he says that to her? You should be united with me. May you add this, Lee. Yud, the Lashon of Yud, we found where? 
when a Jewish maidservant in Amma becomes the wife of her master, and this is embedded in her sale, we're going to see that in Daf Yudchesan later, yeah, and Amma Evri are turning into Kiddushin, it's called Im Libno Ye Odeno. So Yehud, Yehud, this also Yehud means like to dedicate. So he told her, Haret Meyu Edesli Ma'u, what would be then? Yeah, is she called Mekudeshes or not? Ezrosi Ma'u Negdosi Ma'u, Ezer Kenegdoi. Right? Not long ago we saw it in the Torah. Be my helper, be my negat, somebody corresponding to me, somebody uh, facing me. Yeah? Mau. These are all the shortness in the Torah. Atsurosi mau. Atsurosi is a big problem. Atsurosi, says Rashi, means the one who's atsur, like Shmini Atzeres, who's one who is atsur, who's like collected with me in the house. He's like not atsur matzah, which is jail. Now, you're not going to my jail. Atsurosi means, yeah, some people view marriage that way, Loleinu, yeah. But Atsurosi, Baruch Hashem, it's not. Atsurosi, you are stopped with me. You're together with me in the house. That's one way. However, the Torah, the Tanakh, also uses Atsurosi regarding women. You remember the story of David the Melech, he was starving hungry, literally starving hungry, and was running away from Shaul, and he came to uh, to uh, Achimelech, to the Kohen, and asked him for the Lechem upon him. Inov, yeah, Chimelech was the coin of Nov, and asked him, please, I'm starving, give him Lechem upon him. So David the Melech was not allowed to eat Lechem upon him, he was a czar. So the Chimelech the coin says, listen, I may give you, you're a czar, but maybe you're Tome. Maybe, maybe, maybe one of your boys, one of your soldiers was with a woman recently, maybe a Tashmish, and you're still Sheikh Vazera. So he says, no, ma pita, isha atsura lanu. A woman is stopped from us, yeah? We haven't been with a woman for a long time, in the middle of Gaza now, which women, yeah? So now, Atsurosi there means the woman is not with us. So therefore, says Rashi, here Atsurosi is not biblical, but Atsurosi in the Tanakh means the other way around. Atsurosi means not being, Atsur to stop. I'm stopping myself from being with a woman. However, Toysfus says no. Atsurosi, Toysfus says the more interesting way of saying that Atsurosi does mean, even in the Tanakh, being with a woman. And Toysfus says yes, the common denominator between all these Lashonises, they all appear in the Tanakh. And they're all not so clearly understood by every Tom, Dick, Harry, and Rochel and Sprint of Elam. How did Hashem do the operation? He took a tzela, which is either a rib or a side. Odom and Chav, according to the other version in Eruv and Yutes, Yutes, they were, you know, stuck in the back. You know, they were stuck in the Kremil twins. And then Hashem did the operation, right? We all spoke about the dilemma, shopping center, Koilel, they can't go all the time to the same place. So Hashem separated them. And he says, you are my tzela. He's using the lotion of Bereshit. What does it say afterwards? Hashem closed the place. He did a nice operation, you know, like Labdil, a good surgeon. He closed it up nicely, so you shouldn't see anything. You are my Sgurosi, relating to the story in Genesis. And that's what the Chosin is telling her under the chupa. And she's like, uh, okay, Sgurosi Mau, what would be the Alocho? Tachtai Mau, yeah, he says, under me. It's she, like, just like Chava was closed under Odom. Tfusosi mau. Tfusosi is not so good either. Tfusosi means caught by me, which really in the Torah is talking about an oinus. Yeah? The hiloin is poso. She was not caught by the wind, but she did it willingly. So the Rishonim point that this is not so understood, but Lamais, uh, Tfusosi is Tashmish. So this is what, uh, yeah. Lekuchosi mau. Again, Kika Chishisha. That's the best one. Lekuchosi. You are my Lekucha, just like it says in the real, real Posuk. That actually, this the one and only pasuk that discusses kiddushin in the Torah, ki yika chishisha. So all these things are a question. We're going to elaborate on the question, but generally speaking, it's a, not a very clear lashon. It's a very nice, fl flowery, uh, picturesque lashon, but it's not clearly, it's not clear if the couple understands it or not, and if she understands it or not. Shait mi yachada. Out of all these questions, one miha at least. Miha means at least. At least one question I can answer. The Tanya, oh, Mephosha Braisa, finally, find a Braisa. Oimer Lekuchosi, Areza Mekudeshes. The Loshon Lekuchosi is a good Loshon. Why? Mishum Shenemar, Ki Ikach Ish Isha. Very good. A man tells a woman, Ki Ikach Ish Isha. In other words, the Torah says, if a man is Lokiach a woman, and that Pasuk is not about David and Odom and stories and Oynes, that Pasuk is the Pasuk that actually talks about Kiddushin. And therefore, such a pasuk, people should understand, it should be self-explanatory, I am lokeach you, that is mamish what the Torah talks about when it says, ki Now, before we continue, um, 
Um, no, yes, the Gemara, what I told you about the woman, yes, and not understanding it, will be discussed not in this upcoming sugya, but the next one. I want to tell you something unbelievable, like I was so excited yesterday about the Yesoid, that we said there's another Yesoid over here mentioned by Toysus Riazokin. Toysus Riazokin is on the side. If you notice, you have Rashi, Toysus, Toysus Riazokin, and Perish on the actual page. Let's say that the woman said, I understood. You think I don't know what's uh, Atsurosi? I have a PhD in Novi. Who do you think you are? You male chauvinist. Of course I understand all these words. I understood it. And the man, of course, understood. Big Talmud Chacham. What's going to be? Are they clearly married? Because they both understood it. Not so simple. Not so simple. Says the Tessus Rezokan, mind-blowing Yesoid regarding Edus. You have to know, since we're already a few days into Kiddushin, that there's a difference between the Edim of Kiddushin and Edim in anything else you're used to, all of you here, from Bavakama, Metzia, Basra, there's an aid that's made about uh, you selling a house to your friend and you marrying your wife. The difference is, and I don't remember now the whole story why, there's a whole rush, but I just remember the, the, the concept. The aidim are not just technical people to make sure you're not lying. Why do you take aidim? Hey, take aidim that I pay you the debt, right? So you can't lie based in the aidim will come. No, here in Kiddushin, aidim are part of the Maisi Kiddushin. That's what the Rashba says. Edim are chelik from Maisi Kiddushin. Just like to have a ring, you have to have a chos and kala, you have to ring, and of course you have to have a videographer. That's yeah. Then even if you don't have a videographer, even even more choshev than him, unbelievable is what the two edim. They are part of the Maisi Kiddushin, and therefore, let's say the two edim. You have two edim from the crowd. Hey, you and you, the kosher, the kosher. They don't have unfiltered internet at home. The wives cover their hair. They're not lying. They're not the sachik bikubia. They don't go to the casino. The good people, but they're not. Uh, Rav Shteyman and Rav Yashiv. Okay, they're regular guys. Yeah, a nice keeper on the hand. And those Edim, the Chosan, who's, by the way, not necessarily standing under the chupas, can be stam in any occasion, even without preparation. He comes and tells him, hey, guys, guys, come, 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 come. I want to say something to that woman. He says, all right, at Atsuwasi. And the Edim are, like, scratching their hands. And afterwards, he tells them, you know, Atsuwasi, after, after the Lechaim, Atsuwasi means Mekudeshes. And then they say, ah, of course, of course, of course. They didn't then are very happy that they understood. Hmm. At the time of the Kiddushin, the Edim didn't see Kiddushin. They don't know what's Atsurasi. The Edim saw a man giving a ring to a woman, saying, all right, Atsurasi. Maybe it's just engagement of today. Maybe she's his stamp friend. Forget about Sneas. Yeah. Maybe she's his, uh, maybe it's not a ring. It's a gift. Maybe she's a worker, a secretary is giving her. I don't know. It's Atsurasi. I later, they were informed too late, we say in Hebrew. Because at the time of the Kiddushin, they're not made on Kiddushin. They're made on a funny ceremony, which only later, when it's over, they click and they realize, oh, really, it was Kiddushin. That's not good. The Adin being part of the Maisi Kiddushin, they have to have their eyes and their mind, yeah, cooperating, knowing exactly what's happening here, and only then it's Kiddushin. Otherwise, it's not Kiddushin without Adin. It's just not Kiddushin. I'd like to talk about it for another five hours, if I'd go into it. We don't have time. But this is just a big yesoid, Adim are essential, and therefore Adim, no questions for the next uh, five minutes. Yeah, now the Adim, they have to know and understand everything that's going on. That's why usually you take Adim who are like Talmud Chachamim up to a level. They know what's Kiddushin, what's this, yeah. Not just only because of kosher. They have to understand at least basically what's going on. Baita. Iboilu, if it's a very quick one, yes, we're behind, we're behind. Quick one, quick one, one question and quick and thank you. Yes. It's good you're learning this before a granddaughter's wedding, so you're not around the show. Yeah, you're going to teach the rabbi what to do. Comes now another fascinating question. Can't be an editor in granddaughter's wedding, sorry. Here comes a tricky one. What happens if the man tells the woman, ring and all, you are at harufosi. You are my harufa. What is harufa? The term harufa appears in the Torah when it says vehi shifcha nichrefes leish. If a man has illicit, illegal relations with a woman who is a shifcha, there are two ways to understand: who is a half shifcha, half bas choirin. She's half free and half slave. That can happen. You own know, two masters. One of them freed her, and one didn't. And she is mekudeshes to an eved ivri, which is allowed. Eved ivri is the only man in the world that can marry both shifcha and bas choirin. And she's like Mikudeshis, and that level of Kiddushin is lower. And he had relations with this 
partially married woman, yeah, and then we give him, we don't kill him, we are, we, he has to give a korban, and she's getting malchus. The kitzah harufosi is a lotion of some, some kind of dubious kiddushin that may apply to a woman who's half free, half shivcha kenainis, and a person says to his wife, harufosi, what would be the aloha then? Toshma, let's see, the Tanya, it says in the Brisa, ha'omer harufosi mekudeshes, yes, it would work, if you say Harufosi, she's Mukudeshes, you did the job, she's your wife. Mazel Tov, Sheken be Yehuda, Koyrin la Rusa Harufa. In case you don't know, in the times of the Mishnah, the land of Israel was culturally divided to two, three places, each one of the different meaning, mainly two places, mainly two places, Yehuda and Golil. There were many, many different customs and many different, you know, uh, forms of behavior and aloko between uh, financially and religiously, between Yehuda and Golil. In the region of Yehuda, around where we are, it was common to call an Arusa Harufa. Every boy and girl, they know how do you call an Arusa Harufa. Yeah, a woman who is Mekudeshes, Mureses, a woman with a ring on her finger, even before the Chufa, she's called Harufa. So Mimela, because in Yehuda, people call, use that strange lotion Harufa, that's why all over the world, if you make your Hasana where? In five towns, Los Angeles, Mexico, London, what? Harufa is a good language. It's a good way to call a woman Harufa is more is, 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 is Kiddushin. Practically, the more obvious question, who are they, these Yehuda people? The Yehuda, the Yeruba, the Alma? Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know how to say in Japanese or at Mukadesh Asli. But if a Japanese boy says to a Japanese Jewish girl at Mukadesh Asli, that doesn't affect me. Just because Yehuda, they say, they're not the majority of the world. Because of that, people in uh, L.A., Detroit, Mexico, and Chile, they also say Harufasi. No. On, maybe only people in Yehuda, but why do they affect the entire world? Why is there a minig of just one place affecting everybody else? Achika Omar. Therefore, we're changing the Meimra. Ha'omer Harufasi Mekudeshes. First of all, the one who says Harufasi, it's good Kiddushin. Why? Shenemar v'yishifcha nechrefes le'ish. Ah, I already gave it away. It's not just because of Yehuda. First of all, there is a source in the Torah. It's not just their sticky slang, you know. It's really based in the Torah. So we see that it's called Kiddushin. The Oid, and besides that, the Yehuda koyin la Rusa Harufa. And also the Yehuda, they call Arusa Harufa. So it's really, besides the fact, Yehuda also, in that region, they call Arusa Harufa. But really, the main reason is because of the Pasuk. The reason why a chosen in Brazil can say Haret Harufasi is not because of Yehuda, it's because of Pasuk. It's in the Pasuk, it's in the Torah. And also because it's it's accepted in Yehuda. Frank the Gmar, very, very famous line. The Yehuda, the oidly Likro. <laughs> the meaning of Yehuda is another assertion, another proof to the Pasuk. It's like saying, you know, don't eat Chazir, because it says in the Torah not to eat Chazir, and it's also not accepted in our family. Yeah, it's not accepted in uh, Ramad to eat chazir. Yeah, that's kind of strange, right? It's in the Torah, and also not accepted. Yeah, Some people, it's not accepted in the Charid Tzibur. Yeah? What do you mean? It's in the Torah. What, who cares now about the Minog of Yehuda? If you believe that it's valid enough that it's written in the Torah to be a clear Lashon Kiddushin, why do you bring Yehuda into the story? El HaChikomar, second time we're changing. Soon we're getting to the summit. HaOmer Harufa BeYehuda. Mekudeshes. You see how we blew the tire? Only if you are in Yehuda and you say Hare at Harufosi, then she's Mekudeshes. Ah. Not if you are in Golil, not if you're in Ever Hayarden, which is the third place, not if you're in Iraq, and not if you're Cyprus or LA or Gateshead. Only in Yehuda, if you say Harufa, then she's Mekudeshes. She can be Yehuda, Karen Arusa, Harufa. And really, we don't need the Pasuk. Says Rashi, according to the Maskono, really, Harufa is not a half-half. According to the Maskono, we chuck the, we don't chuck the Pasuk out the window, but the Pasuk is irrelevant. Only in Yehuda, they say Harufa, and it's accepted, because they understand what they say. Now, what about the Pasuk? That's Machlok Yisrishoinim. Rashi and Toysus and Ritva say the Pasuk is redundant. And Chinami. The Posuk doesn't talk about Kiddushin. He talks about the Shifcha Knainis, who's completely Shifcha Knainis. Now look who said before. He changed. It's a Shifcha Knainis. Shifcha Knainis is no Kiddushin. A Shifcha Knainis who is, shall we say, together with an Evid Knaini, they're not Mekudash. She's not Mekudash. It's only about Yehuda, because there it's normal. Let me ask you a question, and this is what the Shita Loi Noedo Lami says. 
רק רגע. Two questions you want to ask me now, I'm prophesizing. First of all, what's the Chiddush? If everyone in Iran says a red Chorofosi, they know the meme, then what's the Chiddush, right? Chorofosi. Secondly, maybe we don't check out the Posuk. Maybe the Posuk is necessary. There's a sheet of London and me like that, and I think others are showing him too. That's what I remember also from, from Shabbos. The Gemara in Shabbos says as follows. Sometimes people are knowing a certain minhag, yeah, in a place, and yet Halacha doesn't recognize that minhagamokoim. You guys have been brainwashed already in Bava Metziah, minhagamidina, minhagamidina. Minhagamidina doesn't always apply. Not every minhag is accepted halachically as a good minhag, even if everyone around does that. For example, it says in Gemara Shabbos, Dabta the base of Odalif in the bottom of the page, it says that if people walk with, uh, like in South Africa, like the Arabs, yeah, yeah, they walk with a basket jug on their heads very quickly. If you go out like that on Shabbos, is that called Hoitzo, normal Hoitzo to be in Chayviu? No. Ah, in Hutzal, there was a place called Hutzal, where they used to do it. They used to walk yeah. with those baskets on their heads. No, even Hutzal people are not Chayv if they walk, even though there it's normal. Why? Because that minag is very funny and unaccepted, because we all have heads, and we all have hands, and we choose hands over the heads. Because they choose differently, for whichever reason, their minag is Botel Beroi. Botel is just one city. And the Botel Beroi Oilam, and therefore, even for them, that's not called normal halachically. And if they go out like that on Shabbos, they'll be Potu. It's good for them with the heaven. Mashenkin over here. If Harufasi would be an absolutely foolish, idiotic slang, you know the young people, when they say sick, they mean it's good? I just realized that from some reason from Rosh Chodesh Elul, you guess why? They say it's a sick Gemara. You're saying a sick chat. I was very insulted. Really sick means good. Yeah, yeah, it's a sick davening. Sick means good. So if you say a slang that's very out of line, maybe it's not halachically accepted. Ah, because there's a post of Chalufosi that endorses the minhag of Yehuda enough that for Yehuda themselves will be accepted Loshin Kiddushi. That's what Tamri Shonim say. Now everything's beautiful. Again, if a person says some slangy, young slang, which is which is maybe not halachically accepted, then what? Even in his own place, it's not called Kiddushin. But if this slang is endorsed by the Torah, because we saw the Torah says Harufasi, then it's good enough that for this place, at least it will be considered as a good mean hug. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Enjoy freedom of speech as long as you can. Yeah. Back to the funny Lishoy noise. Oh, what did we say? When a man tells the woman, what? Hare at miyu edes, hare at, yeah, all these Lishoy noise, at surosi, sgurosi, tachtai. We have a sophic, we have a question whether that's good kiddushin or not. What's the context over here? What are we talking about? If he did not speak to her before about Gitin or Kiddushin, let's leave Gitin out the window for your permission. I promise it will be discussed right now because I want to focus now on Kiddushin, okay? Let's say the guy and the girl did not speak before about Kiddushin. He came to her in the middle of the street, in the middle of, uh, I don't know, university, I don't know where, Areat uh, this, without any prior warning about Inyoni Kiddushin, Minayo de my Kamerlo. How would she know what he's talking to her about? Arat Mikudeshusli, she would know. Arat Arusosi, she knows. But all these weird halfway Lashonis, why would, excuse me? <laughs> you want to know the time? What are you talking about when you're telling me, Are Ates Gurosi? You will tell me I'm a closed minded girl. What? There's no Kiddushin discussed, and for sure she doesn't know what he's talking about. And it's clearly not Kiddushin. It's out of context and strange Lashon. It's two strikes against you, mister. The Ella must be the Medaber Imaliz Kigita Oh. Must be Achasana, Kinol David, Chupa, photographers. They were discussing the wedding. He knows that. They know that they're planning, and they were talking right before, by the way, about, yeah, Kiddushin, will you marry me? He was proposing, oh, that's the word. He was proposing the Kiddushin, and then he said, what? Hare at Vechule, Hare at Sgurosi, Hare at Badi, Hare at this. Then, what? Then you're saying, then there's a question? Says the Gemara, no. Afal gav de lo amar lo nami. Wow, here's what I told you before that surprised you. If a man, yeah, if a girl and a boy stand and they know that Kiddushin was just discussed and he gives her a ring without saying anything, he doesn't have to say anything. Wow. Because Haret Mukudesh is the only way to understand what's going on. But if they came together to Kinor David to the hall and they, she's with a white gown and he's that, she has to be really, really out of it not to understand what's going on. 
and then he doesn't have to tell the Rat to Kadashisli at all. Ooh, why do you have an issue with all these strange Lashonas, Lekuchosi, and not Lekuchosi, you know, all the others, Gorosi, Tzolosi, even if you don't say anything at all, you just quietly hmm, put the ring or the, the ring on the finger. It's also good enough without saying a word. That none, it says in the Mishnah, Mishnah and Maison. He spoke to the woman about her get or kiddush, and let's focus on kiddushin. Meaning, will you marry me? Or I'm planning on getting married, and she's the no son lo gita v'kiddushin, and he gave her get or kiddushin. He gave money. Veloi pirish, and he did not explain at the time of giving. He did not say a word. Not mikudeshes, not salosi, not chorfosi. Rabbi Yosi Omer Dayer. Rabbi Yosi says good enough. She understands what he's giving it to her for, right? She just spoke a second ago about Kiddushin. Will you marry me? You'll be my wife. will be so nice, amazing. <laughs> Here's a ring. He doesn't have to say at the time of the ring, but actually, so says Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi says you do have to explain and be explicit, and at the time of giving the money, you have to say it Mekodeshly. However, quickly we are choosing sides. We are cho choosing favorites. Domer Avuna Omer Shmuel. Shmuel says, Oh, Shmuel says, Aloha is a Rabbi Yossi, the what? You don't have to utter a word. So again, let's summarize the question. Let's repeat the question, actually. We're saying, a man starts saying all kinds of funny, does she, does she understand the idiot? What's your problem? Make up your mind. If he, if he did not tell her anything before, he's surprising her in the middle of nowhere, and he says, the assumption is most people don't understand what you want from their lives, yeah? And soon we'll understand it can also mean other things like be my worker, be my something else. It's too ambiguous. No. And if you're telling me that there was proposal and preparation for the big moment, then you don't have to say anything at all. Who cares? You said something bad like Atsurosi, even if you were quiet, quiet chupa. Yeah. And what? You put the ring on her finger. It's good enough without saying anything. And by the way, that's a halacha. Don't do that at home. Yeah. But that's make your din at halacha. So if so, what's your problem? When do you have an issue of a maybe? It's either surely good or surely not good. Why are you in a limbo over here? The Amri. So now comes the, you answer me. You can get the answer very quickly. When you're not sure what to do, what to say to someone with a tricky relationship, is it better to be quiet or better to say something that be interpreted wrong and to say the wrong thing? Being quiet is many, many, many times. Wait, be quiet is way better than saying to the person something which you may interpret the wrong way, not your humor, not your thing. Oh, that's the answer, basically. Pure psychology. The Amri, we give the answer. Yes. There was speech beforehand, what we to call proposal. They spoke about the inyonim of Gitin, excuse me, Gitin also, or in this case, Kiddushin. The idea of Lave Shosik, if he just, nice smile, quiet, we don't need words. Oh, he just gave it to her quietly. No problem, it's good. She understands. We speak here about Kiddushin. He's not talking to me about being his wife or secretary or helper or his uh, teacher. He's talking all about Kiddushin. And the girl knows about the concept of Kiddushin. She got the ring. She got the watch. It's Kiddushin. Keep quiet and be sure you're smart. Tosan. And over here it's worse. The Yohivlo, the Omer Lobhani Lishni. Ay, ay, ay. He told her, in other words, he gave her the money and he used all these ambiguous Lashonos. Here comes the punchline. What really is the question? Hani Lishni, those Lashonos that he uses, the Kiddushi Kaomer law, the Kala doesn't know, yeah? And even we don't know, even with the Chosen, it's a question, because we from the side are not sure, either him or her, or the Kiddushin, or, or, or the Edim, we don't know if we're saying it for Kiddushin, which is Kiddushin, or maybe he wants her to be his worker, maybe the Lashonos, be, be in my house, I want you to be Atzorosi, Nikdosi, Come be, be my helper, my co-worker in the office, in the house. Maybe that's all, all he's telling her. Teku. We remain in the teku. So teku means what? It's a sofek kiddushi in the ze aloche. The aloche is as follows. Again, let me just summarize a little bit of aloche before we continue. Before a little bit more questions. The aloche, I'm not saying aloche lemaise. I saw briefly shulchan aloche. I'm just giving you a little bit of snippets here and there. Says the... Ritva, Ritva is not yet a loch dafka, but Ritva says that, as I told you before, the lotion should be used is right mukodeshly. Yeah, it's true. I saw in Shulchanor that if, if we know that the girl, if you can prove that the girl knew what he means, he proposed to her, gave her a ring, and he didn't say anything else, and he says after even without proposing, 
Ratu Kadesh Sli is even in the middle of the street. It's a machloikis. Everything I'm saying now is machloikisim. But if I got the halacha, the mice opinions, a guy comes to the girl in the middle of the street out of surprising her completely. Yeah, I don't know, something like that, just out of there, to aid him, hey, hey, Reuben Shimon, come, come, watch the watch it. And he says, all right, to me, kudeshously. That's assumed to be understood by all women as kiddushin. And unless you can prove otherwise, she's mkudeshes, even without preparation of proposal of medaber imal iske kiddushin. Yeah? Machlokes, but this, as far as I remember, is aloha. If he says, ambiguous lishoinus, if he said the biggest lishoinus of what? Areat ezrosi, nigdosi, sgorosi, even with preparation is a question. Is a maybe, so she needs to get misofik. She needs to get misofik. However, if he told her, as we see in the Gemara, if he says, Aretz Gorosi in the middle of the street, you know, they finished a lecture in university, he thinks she's a nice girl, he's a student, wants to be smart and show knowledgeable is. Aretz Gorosi giving her a ring, she's like, oh yeah, sure. And then she says, I thought he means he wants me to be closed in a room because it's Corona again. He wants me to work with him on a science project. She's believed. Since there was no preparation of Kiddushin, no context, and he says a lotion which is really quirky, therefore in that case, as far as I remember, a is she's not Sophic Mikudeshus. And that's what it sounds like from the Gemara, if you summarize what we learned. I'm not a Rav uh, for uh, Kiddushin, I'm not, uh, this is not a Halacha Shir, but this, these are definitely guidelines. I would say stick to Rav He says the Ritva, our women, one second, our women are not so proficient in Hebrew, says the Ritva, and sadly, this is a story today to an American in many places, the women don't know Hebrew, I mean, right, um, even from women, so then, Rav Kodeshesli should be the Loshon, yeah, because that they do know, because they know that that's what the Chod says. If he says to an American girl, uh, Rayat, let's say, even uh, Ishti, which would be good, I'm not sure she'll understand what you mean, so don't choose that, and that would probably not be good, or maybe a Sophic, maybe a nothing, Israeli girl also, don't say Aret Meureses, because an Israeli girl, Aret Arusosi, she would think to mean engaged, not married, and she'll be wrong. These are all just ideas based on the Ritva and others. Um, I would be very happy to hear questions at 10.25. Okay, reserve the question 10.25. Gufa. Gufa, we're now focusing on something that was beforehand tangential, not become central. A man spoke to the woman about matters of Gitin or Kiddushin. He gave her the Kiddushin, let's choose Kiddushin now, without saying Hare at Mekudeshesli, or Gitin, without saying Hare Zegitech. Let's say Gitin, let's do talk now about Gitin. He told her very clearly, listen lady, it's all over between us. How many times have they been by the psychologist already now? What? 517? Done, I'm done with you, finished, I'm not interested in you, that's all over between us. And then, boom, giving her a document. She understands it's a get and not a wish list for her birthday, yeah, right? And therefore, it's good enough. Context is good enough that even at the time of Gitan or Kiddushin, is not telling her, you understand from what we spoke a minute ago, Rabbi Yudha says no. You always have to, at the very, very time of giving Gitin and Kiddushin, you again have to say, it's imperative that you say Haret Mekodesh Asli or Hare Zegitech. Omer V'yodom Shmuel. Now, Shmuel comes to qualify, to qualify what, what is, who does Shmuel hold by? Rabbi Yossi, remember that. That you don't have to say anything, right? You don't have to say anything. You propose, please, will you marry me, be my wife? And then, two seconds passed, and he gives her the ring. He doesn't have to say, at the time of giving Haret Mekodesh Asli. However, says Shmuel, I am qualifying and limiting that. Which means, it's only true if they are still talking about the same matter. Which means, let's say the chos and the boy told the girl, will you be my wife, will you marry me? Yeah, and we understand she says yes. And then they spoke about the weather and the news, and they spoke about other plans. They spoke about uh, other ideas, work, and I don't know, and Torah. And, and then he gave her the ring. Then we say that's not good enough. They have to be mamish like somuch that speak about the speech, the speaking about Kiddushin has to mamish proceed right away, the giving of the money. Then we connect the two and two together. We say it's one thing. But if there was stoppage in between, they spoke about something else, then it's not good because then we're not 100% sure. Maybe the ring is something else. He spoke to her meanwhile about, uh, I don't know, other things. So maybe then... Yeah, maybe the money he gives her. By the way, it's not always ring on the finger. It could be some he gave her money, he gave her a watch. Maybe he spoke about the fact that he, I don't know, he has a banker and he has, a, I don't know, things to look after and gave her money. It's not so clear. Therefore, it has to be Mamish speaking about proposal, Kiddushin, 
and then give her the, the money, even without saying her at Mekodesh Zli, is good enough, but that's a mechlok is tanoim. Rabbi Oimer, who shasuk in voice of Inyan, Rabbi says, like we said, B'Shem Shmuel, that they have to be a sukin dealing with the same business of Kiddushin. Oh, Rabbi Shimon says, no, even if they spoke about other things, so we think now, they spoke about Kiddushin plans, and then they spoke about the weather, how amazing he is, how rich he is, how this and that, all kinds of things, nothing to do with Kiddushin. And then he gave her the Matana, still it works. How come? He loved the Sukin boy so inyan, minayodo. Yeah. Right? In other words, yeah, minayodo maika omarlo. In other words, if they're not dealing now, talking about Kiddushin, how does she know what is he telling her? How does she know, Bechlal, that this uh, business, that that, that um, money is for Kiddushin? Yeah, they know they want to get married, and then spoke about other things. She's not necessarily connecting the money to the speech of 10 minutes ago. They spoke about 500 things. <laughs> Meanwhile, Omar Abaye, and that's the conclusion. Very good. End of story. That's also common uh, in Hebrew of today. Which means, they, he said, he proposed to her. And he said, ah, will you marry me? And she said, <laughs> and then they didn't speak about the weather and the war in Gaza and the situation in China and in uh, Berkeley. They spoke about their future together. They spoke about Inyoni Kiddushin. It wasn't proposal Kiddushin and then the ring, but it was proposal. And then they spoke about Inyonim of Kiddushin that are not the actual marriage, things to do with the marriage. And look what they used to talk about back then, similar to today. How much money is asking uh, Yevon in the dunya to give me? And she's asking him, how many fields do you have this farness by him? They spoke about the, their, their financial plans together, yeah? Oh, because they're talking about the future life, you're going to move to Eretz Israel, you'll be in Kerala, you'll become God of Ador, I'm going to make a million shekel a month becoming a Ganenet, yeah? All these things, yeah? They're all talking about the future together. Mimela, that's the Chiddush, says the other opinion, blood verb Shimon, even though it's not directly like, you know, Geula Latfila, you know, you speak about the Kiddushin and then you gave the, the money. You spoke about Kiddushin and you kept the momentum going by speaking about things that are, that are sort of subtitles of the Kiddushin. Then he gave her the Kesef. That is good enough. And that is, I think, the Allah too. We're going to see more on Sunday. Atzlochu Brocho. I'm very, very happy you're going to ask me questions now. We are holding in, where are we now? Vav Amud Aleph, towards the bottom of the page, right? And the lotion is Omar Avun Omar Shmuel. We're going to start from Omar Avun Omar Shmuel. Thank you to all our friends in Torah Anytime, our YouTube channel, and in uh, our beautiful place here, Abbas Sholem. Thank you, such a full room full of holy people. And Tzvi, the courageous, came back to Eretz Yisrael, Dafka, in this situation to help us all. Hatzlocha Uvrocha, thank you and a good Shabbos.